A Fox News alert, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar tweeting moments ago, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison is increasing charges against Derek Chauvin to second degree in George Floyd's murder and also charging the other three officers. This is another important step for justice, as we've been hearing from protesters and from the Floyd family. Let's bring in the mayor of St. Paul, Minnesota, Melvin Carter. And Mr. Mayor, um, I, I, I wanted to talk to you about some re really remarkable scenes in your city, but I, let me get your reaction to this breaking news that the off that Keith Ellison, the attorney general there, is going to increase the charges against Chauvin and apparently charge the other three officers. Uh, thank you very much. I think that's absolutely critical. Uh, everyone knows that the basic job of a, of a police officer is to help when people are hurting. And so when we look at this video and see uh, Officer Chauvin uh, committing this gross atrocity against humanity uh, against George Floyd, when we see that video of his murder, uh, there's also uh, a, a wrongdoing there. I've heard people say the officers who did nothing, that's inaccurate. Those officers assisted, they helped, they helped hold him down, they guarded the scene while it was happening, and that's unacceptable as well. All four must be charged, all four must be held accountable for their actions. Do you believe that these additional charges will help uh, the, the peaceful protesters feel like they have been heard and that justice is on the way and perhaps help quell the violence as well? Uh, I think these charges will help people feel a little bit uh, more uh, that, that it's possible that maybe someone will be held accountable for George Floyd's murder. murder. But let's be clear, none of this started with George Floyd. We have seen life after life taken, uh, African-American, unarmed, unaggressive men and women whose lives have been taken in just hauntingly disturbing and unacceptable ways over, definitely over the past 10 years. But let me tell you, even before there were camera phones, my father and my grandfather and his grandfather could tell you about these exact same scenes playing out. The anger out in the community is real and it's understandable. And I think what's really gonna help people feel a sense of justice is not just knowing that this one case is gonna be followed up on, but knowing that we as a country are ready and willing to do the deep soul searching type of work that it's gonna take to make sure that this can never again happen in our country. To that end, describe the scene for me um, uh, earlier this week when you led a, a, an attempt at reconciliation. Um, I appreciate the question. You know, we woke up, same as everyone did, to just the haunting images on Tuesday morning of George Floyd's murder. Uh, every member of humanity I know, our police officers, our CEO, our neighborhood activists, my neighbors in my community, look at that video and say that is just unacceptable. We cannot accept that as the status quo of how law enforcement operates in our community. And I think it's important to note that the anger that we've seen around it, that the rage, that this enormous energy that we've seen around it is understandable. And the truth is, feeling angry about that is really the only human response. Uh, unfortunately, there are some who manifested that anger in ways that were destructive and unacceptable and ended up further traumatizing and re-victimizing the same communities that are already traumatized by that video, the same communities that are already traumatized by the history of violent policing in America. We can't do that, but we have to continue this energy. We have to continue the protest. We have to continue to press impatiently uh, to make sure that the focus stays on the facts, that George Floyd should be still alive, that all four of those officers responsible for his death must be held accountable in a court of law, and that we have that deep work to do uh, to, to prevent this from ever happening again in our community. So our call here and nationwide for me uh, is for peace. Let's express yeah. our energy in a peaceful way, but not patience. Let's never return to patience. Let's not ask people to, to, to sit yes. and wait uh, while we Mayor slowly Melvin and Carter. Mr. Mayor, I need to get to the White House briefing. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming on the show. We'll stay in touch.